Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Art and Literature. Let's get to it. Question 1. Which American artist is known for a portrait of his mother? Is it A. Eddie Harold? B. James Whistler? C. Andy Warhol? Or D. Grant Wood? The answer is B. James Whistler. James Whistler's famous portrait of his mother, titled Arrangement in Gray and Black No. 1, is not just a depiction of familial love but also a masterpiece that revolutionized the concept of portraiture. The painting's subtle color palette and the serene expression on his mother's face have captivated art enthusiasts for generations. Question 2. Which famous novel features the chapter titled Queequeg in his coffin? Is it A. Great Expectations B. Pride and Prejudice C. To Kill a Mockingbird Or D. Moby Dick The answer is D. Moby Dick in the chapter Queequeg in his coffin from Moby Dick, Ishmael and Queequeg construct a new bed by placing Queequeg's empty coffin on top of their shared bed frame. This unusual arrangement reflects the unique bond between the two characters and adds a touch of dark humor to Herman Melville's epic novel. Question 3. What novel written by Louisa May Alcott follows the lives of girls called Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy? Is it A. Jane Eyre? B. Little Women? C. The Sisters Karamazov? Or D. Showgirls? The answer is B. Little Women. In the novel Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, the character Jo March was inspired by the author herself. Both Louisa and Joe were independent, ambitious, and unconventional women for their time. Louisa's portrayal of Joe as a strong-willed and determined character resonated with readers then and continues to inspire many today. Question 4. Which author wrote novellas exemplaires Ruth Nailabeth? Is it A. Victor Hugo? B. Oscar Wilde? C. Alphonse Daudet? Or D. Miguel de Cervantes. The answer is D. Miguel de Cervantes. Miguel de Cervantes, the renowned Spanish author of Don Quixote, also penned the collection of short stories known as novelas exemplares. Interestingly, Cervantes is often credited with shaping the modern novel form through his innovative storytelling techniques and complex character development, making him a literary pioneer in Spanish literature. Question 5. Which song from the musical South Pacific begins with the lyrics, We got sunlight on the sand, we got moonlight on the sea? Is it A. There's nothing like a dame? B. Some enchanted evening? C. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. Or D. Bali Hai. The answer is A. There's nothing like a dame. The song There's Nothing Like a Dame from the musical South Pacific was so popular that during World War II, American soldiers stationed in the Pacific would often sing it to boost morale. Its catchy tune and spirited lyrics provided a moment of escapism amidst the harsh realities of war, bringing a sense of camaraderie among troops. Question 6. Which art technique can be described as reducing or distorting in order to represent three-dimensional space as perceived by the eye? Is it A. Topomorphism B. Foreshortening C. Isometric projection or D. Skewed Perspective? The answer is B. Foreshortening. 
Foreshortening, a technique used in art, creates the illusion of depth by distorting or reducing objects to mimic how they appear from a specific viewpoint. This technique challenges artists to manipulate proportions and angles to accurately depict perspective, adding an intriguing visual dimension that captivates viewers and enhances realism in artwork. Question 7. Which Rhode Islander painted portraits of the first six presidents of the USA? Is it A. Gilbert Stewart? B. Ralph Earl? C. Hannah Robinson? Or D. Edward Mitchell Bannister? The answer is A. Gilbert Stewart. Gilbert Stewart, the Rhode Islander known for painting portraits of the first six U.S. presidents, had a unique technique to capture their likenesses. He would often leave the eyes unfinished until the very end of his process, believing that they held the true essence and character of his subjects. Question 8. What is the follow-up tale to The Call of the Wild by Jack London? Is it A. White Fang? B. Balto? C. Where the Red Fern Grows? Or D. Cujo? The answer is A. White Fang. White Fang, the follow-up tale to The Call of the Wild by Jack London, tells the story of a wild wolf dog's journey from a harsh and brutal life in the wilderness to finding love and companionship with humans. It explores themes of survival, loyalty, and redemption in a gripping and emotional narrative. As we close the chapter on this quiz, remember, art is knowing what to leave out. Keep creating your masterpiece. Farewell, cultured minds. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until tomorrow, stay safe and farewell for now. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.